and um, I think we will get started. So we're gonna start with our posture checks. Okay, so a couple of options you've got. You can sit with your legs out straight in front of you, but you need to make sure that your knees are not coming up off the floor. If your knees are coming up off the floor, you can be sitting on um, a book or something, uh, something solid, firm, um, not really a cushion. Um, just so they can actually lengthen those legs out. If that's not an option, you can sit with your legs crossed, okay? And we wanna make sure that we're sitting nice and tall, all right? So we're sitting literally on the bones of our bottoms, okay? They are there, all right? So just, if you need to, shuffle your bottom out of the way just so you can get on those sit bones, sitting nice and tall. So imagine you've got a rod running all the way through from the floor, coming out the top of your head, running through your spine. Excellent. Okay, so just so you can see from the side, so we're not slouching, we're not leaning too far back, I'm not puffing my chest out or anything like that. So sitting nice and tall, roll those shoulders back in down, place either your hands on your knees or just gently on the floor. We're looking straight ahead, so we're looking at eye level. We're not looking down on the floor, we're not looking up at the ceiling. We're gonna just slightly tuck our chin in, okay? And then from there, we're gonna engage, we're gonna work on our breathing and then engage our core. So in Pilates, if you've, you'll know by now if you've been coming every week, we've been catching up on YouTube, you'll know we do lateral breathing, which is breathing through the lungs. So place your hands on your ribs, take a breath in through the nose, keep the shoulders relaxed, Ribs come out to the side, so that's the lateral, all right, sideways movement. Exhale, and they come back out. Okay, and again, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Excellent, okay. From that, we're now going to engage our core, so you can place your hands on your tummy button if you need to. Okay, it's just a little bit of extra feedback, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in as we did before. Inhale, lift the lungs. Exhale, this time I want you to pull your tummy muscles in as tight as you can go, so without affecting your posture. So you're not crunching forward, we're just pulling them in. Tummy button, nice and tight. Imagine a magnet, spine, tummy button, and straight in together, 100%. And then let it go, okay. And again, inhale, exhale, this time we're going to 50%. So they're there, they're still connected, but they're not, you know, there's a bit of movement there if needs be. And then let it go. Okay, last time, inhale, exhale to 30%. And then this is a connection that we can maintain throughout the session. If at any point you let it go, just inhale, exhale, and engage it again to 30%. Don't stress about it. But it is vital that we have the core switched on and engaged throughout for all of our movements. Okay. We're gonna go straight in a side lying position today. So I'm gonna lie down on my left side. Now, if you do have any shoulder or neck issues or anything like that, all right, you can use either a book or block or a cushion just to support your head. If not, just use your arm. So if you're comfortable lying down on the side, okay, you can just then rest your head on top of your arm, okay? But if it isn't comfortable to have your arm going straight up, you have your arm out to the side, out in front of you, and you use a cushion. Try not to let your head just hang because that puts too much pressure on the top of the spine. Feet together, all right? Knees bent, so... Your knees are gonna be coming out in front of you. Your heels are gonna be in line with your bottom. So just give it a quick little look and then come back. Inhale, exhale, engage that core to 30%. Okay, so we're gonna do our side lying clamp. Top hand, depends on how good your balance is. If you need to balance for stability, if you're the person who kind of rocks back as a forwards, place your hand here. If your balance is a little bit better, place your hand on your hip so that when we do the movement, you're knowing that you're not moving back. It is a small one. So we're gonna go inhale, exhale, bottom leg stays down, top knee comes up, heels pushing towards each other and you're going to feel it in your bottom. Inhale back, exhale up. Really squeeze those heels together, inhale down. 
Exhale up. Inhale down. Nice and controlled. Use your breath. Let's go for two more. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to lengthen that top leg. We're going to bring the leg just to hip height. Okay, we're going to flex the foot. Keeping this leg bent, if you need to for stability, you can bring it a little bit further forward. Okay, just do what feels comfortable for you and your body. We're going to drop that foot down and lift. Lower and lift. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Keep that core switched on. And what we want to make sure is we've got a nice length here. All right, we're not crunching at the waist or anything like that. So you can use your thumb and forefinger just to make sure that that's not happening. If this space here between your ribs and your hip is shortening, do a smaller range of movement on your leg lift. Excellent. Just use your breath. Okay, let's do two more. Excellent. And then just rest the leg down if you need to. If you're starting to feel that in your bottom area, hip area, just give it a little pat. It's just the just the muscles working. We're going to lift that top leg just so it's hip height. Okay. Again, pause engaged. Again, you can place your hand here or on your hip. All right. Whichever one feels comfortable for you. We're going to inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to swing that leg forward. Inhale back. Now it's not a big movement. It may look it because my foot's coming towards the camera. And it may look as if I'm getting my foot up to hip height. I am not. Okay. My leg is staying hip height as in it's not dropping towards the ground or going forwards. Up or down. So it's staying on a level as it's coming around. Okay. But I'm probably only getting about a 45 degree angle in front of me here. Okay, so nice controlled movements. Use your breath, use your core. Make sure that's switched on. Everything's coming from here. Imagine that you just think that the, the core is the engine, okay? Nothing's going to work properly without that being switched on. Okay. Okay, let's do one more after this side. Excellent. And then bring that leg down and just give it a nice little pat. Loosen anything off that maybe just as the muscles are firing up, they're working. Okay. We're going to slowly push ourselves up and then we're going to switch and do the other side. Excellent. Okay. So arm out straight if you can. If not, use a cushion. Rest your head on the arm. Knees bent. Heels together. Okay. Core switched on to 30%. All right, hand on the hip for feedback or on the floor for balance. We're going to inhale, exhale, squeeze those heels together, inhale down, exhale up, inhale up, excellent. You just take your time. We're aiming for about eight in total. Do not rush them. Okay. Six to eight good reps. Okay. Where we're feeling them. Really push those heels because the more you push the heels together, the more you'll feel it in the bottom. If you're not pushing those heels together, you're not going to feel it. Excellent. Let's do two more. Okay, let's lengthen that top leg. All right, we're going to do our leg lift. So dropping it down, we inhale, we exhale to lift. 
Now remember about that space again, okay, between your ribs and your hip bones. This is not shortening, it's not moving. Okay, your upper body is completely still. The only thing that is moving is the hip on this leg. All right. So use that. Use your thumb and forefinger to make sure from the base of the ribs to the hip that that is not moving, that space is not shortening. Pause engaged. Excellent. Okay, let's do two more. Okay, rest it down if you need to, just for a second. We're going to lift it back up to hip height when you're ready. Inhale, exhale, we're going to swing that leg forward. Now remember, the leg is not moving up or down. It's staying in a nice controlled manner. If it's starting to drop, okay, chances are your range of movement is too big and you need to shorten that leg swing. Exhale out, control it though. Inhale back. Again, I'm still only getting about 45 degrees here. It's looking, from what I can see in the camera, it looks like my foot's coming directly up. It's not, all right? If the muscles on the back of your legs, hips, bottom, etc., are tight, this will all determine how far your leg goes. Nice and controlled. Okay, let's do two more. Excellent. Now drop that leg to the front again and just give it a little pat off just so the muscles just relax a little bit. Okay, we're going to roll onto our back and go into our pelvic tilts. So feet flat on the floor. Okay, making sure that we're looking straight up or slightly ahead of us. We're not looking behind. Hands down by the side. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale. And we're going to do our pelvic tilts to start to so just mobilize it. We're not working the legs here. Nothing's working. Legs should be relaxed, switched off. Feet are nice and grounded onto the floor. The only thing that is moving here is our pelvis. So our pelvis, we're tipping it towards us and then back into neutral. Once it feels comfortable to do so, then I want you to start thinking about peeling that spine one block at a time off the mat. Go as far as feels comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, lower. Nice and controlled. Making sure you're rolling down and not just plonking yourself down onto the floor. Really use that muscle control. Rolling up and down. If you can, stay here, and this is level one in your movement, so adding in the arms, inhale the arms over, exhale down is level two, okay, so just do with what feels comfortable, inhale the arms back, floating them over, nice and controlled, exhale, rolling up, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, float the arms. Exhale, nice and controlled. Use your breath. Peel that spine. Float the arms. And layer it back down. Nice and controlled. Let's do this two more times in total. So exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time through. Exhale. 
Excellent. Okay, if you need to, just bring your knees into your chest one or two at a time, depending on how it feels comfortable for you. And just rock left to right, just so you're loosening off that lower back, just in case there's any tension coming in there at all. Excellent. Okay, we're now going to roll onto our fronts. Okay. I'm going to start with our back extension. So make sure you've got a nice space so you can lie out straight in front of you. You want your hands in a diamond shape, thumb and forefinger together, elbows out to the side and rest your head down into your hands. Just because we're lying on our tummy doesn't mean we don't need our core switched on. So if you've let it go, inhale, exhale, engage that core to 30%. Level one. Exhale, we're going to lift that head and chest off the floor. Okay. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. For those wanting to take it a little bit further, bring your hands just by your shoulders. Okay. And again, elbows stay on the floor, but this time you'll get a bigger range of movement. So inhale, exhale, and lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Core's always engaged. If you need to, you can squeeze your bottom as well, just to help. But keeping that spine nice and straight and just going with the range of movement that feels comfortable for you. Let's do two more. Whatever level you feel comfortable with. And rest. Excellent. Okay. We're going to go into our modified plank now. So I want you to come up. Make sure your elbows and shoulders are directly in line with each other. Palms on the floor arms out inhale exhale come up onto your knees okay core switched on breathe in through the nose out through the mouth and just hold the position for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 excellent lower it down take a breath okay let's try that again Bring it back into position, engage your core, inhale, exhale to lift, down on your knees and again, hold, note your breath, keep flowing that and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, excellent, okay, lower it down, okay, take a breather. We're going to come back up. We're going to aim for two more, all right? But I want you to do with how many you feel comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, make sure that core switched on. Inhale, exhale, lift yourself up. Don't hold your breath. Let the breath flow in through the nose, out through the mouth. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Lower it down. Well done, everybody. We've got one more to go. Okay, and again. Inhale, exhale, cause and get. Inhale, exhale, lift up into position. Let that breath flow in through the nose, out through the mouth, and hold. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And bring it back down. Yay! Well done. Okay, we're going to come up into all fours now. And we're going to go into our cat cow. Okay, so what we want to make sure is that our wrists, elbows and shoulders are nicely stacked in line. Okay, and our knees and our, are directly underneath our hips. So we've got that nice four point situation going on. If you have problems with your wrists, bring it up onto the knuckles so it takes the bend out of the wrists, okay? 
but your weight should be evenly spread over your hands and your legs all right and we're just going to go into our cat cow stretch so we're going to inhale exhale now notice how my arms and legs don't move but i'm arching that spine up towards the ceiling tucking my tailbone in dropping the head excellent opposite direction inhale okay this time i'm dropping my tummy to the floor lifting the head and sticking my bottom back towards the wall excellent exhale out the other way knees are not moving they're staying in place arms are not bending it's literally me moving the spine inhale and exhale inhale and exhale And I just want you to slowly put your toes together, knees apart, sit back into that stretch, arms out in front of us. Okay, and we're just going to rest here. So just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Excellent. Okay. Give those wrists a little bit of a shake if you need to. All right. And then we are going to go into our glute raises. So again, choose your hand position. If you've got wrist problems up onto the knuckles, if you're all right, you can go down. Making sure that you're not pushing through the palms, okay? So imagine you've got a blueberry underneath there. You're gripping with your fingers a bit as well, okay? Back to that all fours position. Now, no arching or dropping, okay? We want that neutral spike. That means the head as well. So we're going to inhale, exhale. We're going to just slide that leg out. If it feels comfortable, it feels strong, we feel balanced, we're going to lift and lower lift and lower excellent squeezing the bottom as we're lifting so it's an exhale and squeeze inhale and release that's it we're going to aim for about eight to ten here okay so making sure that good controlled movement so use your breath Exhale and squeeze, inhale and release. Okay, let's go for two more. Last one, excellent, okay. Reset, slide your right leg out or opposite if you've been doing the opposite to me. Inhale and exhale, lift and squeeze. Really squeezing on the bottom, really getting those muscles worked, waking them up. Remember, our bottoms are very lazy. As soon as we sit on them, they switch off. These muscles are very good to waking up. Okay, it'll help with anybody who may have some lower back pain from sitting for too long, etc. Excellent. All right. Let's go two more. Again, aiming for eight to ten reps on each side. Make each other nice and good. Okay. Excellent. So, nice little bit of stretching to finish. I want you to sit with one leg straight out in front of you, the other leg brought in as far up the leg as you can go. Making sure that the leg that's out straight is actually completely straight and the knee's not coming up off the floor. I just want you to lean down into it. Reach for the toes. Don't worry if you can't get there. Just kind of curl the toes towards you to deepen that stretch down by the back of the leg. So 
So don't forget, you can catch this over on YouTube, all right? Along with all our other sessions that we've been doing since uh, lockdown 1.0, ready for lockdown 2.0. Okay, um, tomorrow we have Wendy with Tai Chi at 11 o'clock live on Facebook. And then on Thursday I'm back with our Wellbeing and Balance. And then Ken has got your has got a pre-recorded call at 12 o'clock. We're going to switch legs. Excellent. And then lean into it and just use your breath. Inhale, exhale, deepen that stretch with every exhalation. Um, don't forget, we've also got our Couch to Christmas as well. So if you haven't yet and you've got a smartphone, go and download the Active Newcastle app and get joining us. Um, lots of activities count towards your steps as well. So, and there's a few weekly challenges to keep it fun as well. Okay. So go and check that out. Uh, more information is on our Facebook page about that as well and our website. Slowly come up, just cross those legs or sit however it feels comfortable as long as it's good posture. I do a little gentle stretch, the left hand down on the floor, inhale, reaching up, exhale over, excellent. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. So if you've enjoyed today's session, please give us a thumbs up or just give us a little comment, some feedback. If there's something that you'd like to see in here or there's some more focused area work you want to see, again, leave us some feedback, okay? But anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you soon.